Hello everyone. I want to share some happy mail with you today. I haven't opened um, this yet. Well, I've opened the box and I've read the card, but I haven't sort of looked at the contents yet. This was sent to me by Cheryl Johnson and Cheryl contacted me a few weeks ago asking um, if she could send me some mica pieces that she has been using in some of her art. Um, some of you will have seen it um, posted in the Facebook group, but I mean, just look at the way she's decorated this box. I mean, this is a work of art before I've even opened anything. It's just gorgeous. I love how you've done this, Cheryl. It's just beautiful. Thank you so much for taking the time to decorate the box so beautifully. Um, now, this is how my package um, has arrived. This was obviously um, in an envelope and um, I've taken it out. But just look at this card that Cheryl has made with the mica pieces that she's sent me. It's just beautiful. I've seen um, Cheryl post this in the Facebook group. I think it was for the repurpose, um, reuse, recycle prompt. But you just can't appreciate how beautiful it is. It's just gorgeous. Let me just tilt this so that you can hopefully pick up some of that shine and iridescence it's just stunning um and let me read you this as well because i just think this quote is beautiful let us be grateful to people who make us happy they are the charming gardeners who make us blossom um, by marcel proust i just love that oh cheryl thank you um and then she just goes on to explain um that um Enclosed are the pieces of mica I mentioned sending along to with some examples of what to do with them. So we're going to see, um, you know, well, we've got this as an example of what to, to do with them. These shiny and reflective pieces I find along the country roads around our property. They are so different from the ones found at art stores and Amazon. Those are translucent and amber coloured. Um, when I first discovered these, I thought, what great pieces of poor man's stained glass if I were to stain them with alcohol ink. I was so pleased when it worked nicely. I noticed stamping with stays on works too um, and then she says you know that you need to wear a mask um, because of the dust particles you don't want to inhale those so let's open the box and um, and just see what we've got so I am going to carefully take this out let me just put that box um, to one side let's see if I can I mean just look how pretty this is as well these little tags just gorgeous what a sweet presentation Cheryl thank you Right, oh, I feel really excited about this. Let's take it out. I'm going to save the tissue paper. Oh, right, okay, let's let's work in order of how they arrived. What's in here? Oh, a dusk mask, fantastic, thank you. And some gloves, very, very handy. Thank you for that. Here we go, can you sort of uh, picture me in my dusk mask playing with these there we are I'm glad you sent me that actually because I don't have one um, so that's brilliant let's have a look and look let me just share the mica pieces oh my goodness gracious me just look at these um, let me just um, put something down so that I can I can catch them this is a bit grotty here but um, at least I can catch some of the, the bits <gasps> Oh, it's like mother of pearl. It's just absolutely beautiful. Cheryl, I have never seen anything like this um, near where I live. But my husband is a geologist or, or well, that's not what he does as a profession, but he studied geology for his degree at university. And so um, he'll be able to tell me sort of, you know, where um, and if we can find pieces like this here in the UK. In fact, we're going down to uh, Plymouth for Easter. So maybe I can find things on near the beaches or things down there I don't know just look just look at that and she says that you take um, the pieces apart um, and then you can cut it with scissors and do all kinds of fun things with it it's just absolutely gorgeous so we've got some larger pieces there oh I'm so excited about this I cannot wait and then smaller pieces in this bag here let's just um, again take a a couple out it looks as if these have already been separated let me just try and grab a, a few I don't want to lose some of them so this is what they look like once they've been separated oh my goodness me I just absolutely love these <gasps> just look how shiny they are oh my gosh Thanks ever so much, Cheryl. I'm going to be really, really careful with these. They're very, very delicate. So let me just carefully put these in because obviously I don't want to break them. I see what you mean now about the dusk mask and um, 
not wanting to inhale the the tiny particles wow that is amazing let me oh i've got i've lost a piece hang on let me just um i don't want to waste anything it's just gorgeous so let me just pop that um in there let me just get rid of rid of that hang on brush the dust off my fingers so this must be a piece that Cheryl has made um, and stained with them and she says that she applies it with um, matte or gloss medium and then adds a layer over the over the top to bring out the shine so these must have been um, stained with alcohol ink it could be stays and I don't know I, I suspect that this is alcohol ink so we've got the hearts here now is that one supposed to be attached there or has it got stuck um, during mailing or were those supposed to be on there as well I'm not sure um, I don't want to break this it just feels so so delicate that's attached to a piece of cardstock but just look how shiny and gorgeous that is it's amazing I've just never seen anything like this wow 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 right okay so let's just pop that to one side and then Cheryl has sent me a few other goodies as well so let's have a look at um, these so right let's see if I can work out how to get into this um, hang on a minute how do we get into it ah here we go that's it right I see let me bear with me bear with me I'm all fingers and thumbs because I don't want to break or spoil anything. Right. Here we are. And let me just take the paper clip off because some Cheryl's written something on, on here. Complete this letter book however you wish. Oh, wow. Gosh, that's um, that must be about an inch and a half let me measure it it's tiny weeny two inches perhaps an inch and three quarters under <laughs> oh it's beautiful it's just absolutely gorgeous and again we've got loads of mica going on in in here as well hang on let me just it's got stuck together I love the backgrounds that you've created here, Cheryl. They are just gorgeous. So much fun. Just look at that. That one there has just got loads of gold in it. It's just gorgeous. Oh, I love that. That's so sweet. I don't think I could bring myself to do anything with it, though. I just absolutely love it as it is. Just inspiration in itself, sort of looking at the backgrounds that you've created. I think it would spoil it to do anything else to to this I just love sort of keeping things like this it's like the um, background book that Dee sent me I just keep it on my desk here and sometimes if I you know can't decide what colorway to use I just flick through it this is just you know inspiration keeping it here for, for me and it's like the little needle book as well that um, Wilma sent me. I keep that by my desk and I have never struggled to find a needle since. So I just love these kind of things. So that's just gorgeous. Let me just pop that to one side for, for a moment. And then we've got some um, napkins. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. With spring coming up as well. These are perfect, aren't they? Love that one too. I presume these are the same on both sides. Very, very pretty. We've got a large napkin here. Hang on, let me just um, open open this. I love that. That's gorgeous. Oh, isn't that pretty? I love napkins. I think we all do, don't we? I've just I collect them every time I go to the supermarket. I'm straight to the. I used to be at the clothes aisle. Now I'm at the um, serviette and napkin aisle, <laughs> and a piece of. Um, another piece of napkin I can sort of see sort of like a French Parisian theme on that one there love that thank you and then we've got a bag of goodies here as well what's in what's in here hang on let me just um, open open this which way does it open ah some die cut um, pieces let's have a look there's no note on that no Oh, look at that background. That's ah, uh, that looks like Bombay inks and alcohol. Um, love that. I, I, that's what. 
made from one of your videos yes it is it's bombay ink and alcohol on the reverse side of photo paper i just just love that and that is my favorite colorway as well and then cheryl has sent me some die cut pieces as well um, so this is similar to what Cheryl has done with her work here. So that's obviously what she's done. She's applied the mica and then sort of built a, built a scene using some um, die cut pieces. How fabulous. I've got nothing like this. I have got a die cutting machine. I've got the X cut one um, and I wish that I had paid the extra and um, got the more expensive one. Look at these little... Christmas baubles, those are cute, aren't they? I love those. Oh, thank you. I'm going to put those in my Christmas box because otherwise I forget that I've got pieces like this. Right, now I'm glad that you've sent me this because I wondered how you had um, done this and I thought you'd cut all the pieces out, but there it is. How fabulous is, is that? Thanks ever so much, Cheryl. I really appreciate um, all these things that you've sent me. And look at this one here, very Art Deco. Um, I think that one there absolutely wonderful thanks ever so much what a fun package of goodies I'm gonna have to have a play um, with these after after Easter um, I've got the kids at home at the moment um, Alex has been back from university for two weeks and Sam's uh, just broken up for the Easter period and I know that um, people say your kids just have to fit in with you well I can honestly tell you I <laughs> not managed to master that one yet that um that i i fit in around them very much so so whenever the kids are at home just everything goes completely to pop because of course you know the times they wake up their schedules are just completely different um to to mine so you know i just find it really difficult to get into any kind of, of routine and of course we live in the countryside as well so um whenever they need to go anywhere i have to take them and most of sam's friends are, are even further in the country side than than we are so that's a good you know 20 25 minute journey either either way um but i just love spending time with them in the car i find that i get more um out of my my children speaking to them in the car than i do at any other time do you find that as well <laughs> i think we probably all do don't we anyway i'm waffling on thank you very very much indeed for these cheryl that what a wonderful wonderful package i have never seen anything like this before how absolutely fabulous so if you liked um, what Cheryl has sent me, please, you know, give, give us a, a thumbs up. A huge amount of time goes into putting pieces of happy mail together. Um, so let us know what you think in the, in the comments below. And um, has anybody else come across anything like this where, where you live? Let me know in the comments below. Take care, everyone. Have a fabulous weekend and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.